So hello guys, what's up and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's me, your girl Barista Neze, and this is Nezeville. A few weeks back, I came across a meme, quite a funny one, but actually a food for thought. It holds plenty of messages. Now this meme said, I'm going to read it and I'm going to flash it right across the screen. So this meme had like two pictures, one like the old school kind of marriage and the other one depicting a modern day marriage. And it said, this was how our fathers and mothers took pictures back in the days. No romance, no sizzling, no glam. It just looked like it was nice doing business. <laughs> it just looked like it was nice doing business protocol. Compared to couple photos of today, yet divorce rates keep hitting all time high. Come to think of it, our parents were so conservative in their show and display of affection. A lot of people, a lot of black children born in the 70s and the 80s can attest that they had never seen their parents either kiss or cuddle or, you know, display all those romantic stuff. I, for one, never grew up seeing all those lovey-dovey, <laughs> but my parents have been married for 40 years. And that's what I have never heard my dad say, I love you, but his actions depict the greatest love and the deepest sacrifices. Put this in comparison with the 21st century marriage. Just like the second picture, there is a lot of effort put into the physical display, but the mental and emotional commitment always seems lacking. So now we have the pre-wedded photo shoots to the bridal shower and the bachelor eve, glam wedding dresses and decoration and the separate dress for the reception. Then we have the ashwebi and the talk of the town wedding itself followed closely by the wedding after party. The love posts on Facebook and the loved of pictures on Instagram. And let's not even get started on the lengthy love declarations on WhatsApp status. Yet, on the average, marriages now are a lot, lot more short-lived than marriages of our parents or marriages of those days. So the question might arise, what is the cause for the prevalence in breakdown of marriages, divorce and separations in modern day African societies and communities? Could it be the influence of Western culture? Or is it that women have gotten a lot more educated and exposed than they were back in the days? Can we blame it on women being a lot less patient and a lot, lot less tolerant than their mothers were? Or is it that African men have refused adamantly to get with the times and realize that women cannot be as silent and subservient as they saw their mothers? Perhaps women are getting more independent and more financially liberated now than they were then. Thus, having lesser and lesser need to remain in a union that does not serve its purpose any longer. Let me know in the comment section what you believe is the cause for the rise, increasing rise of divorce in Nigeria and Africa as a whole now than it ever was. So let us speak about the unfortunate crash of actor Kalu Ikagu's marriage and analyze legally some of the reasons he gave, such as denial of sex. And if this denial of sex is a tangible reason in law for a divorce to be granted, so Kalu Ikago is one of Nigeria's well-known actors. He was born in Britain, but later on relocated back to Nigeria. I don't know if Kalu can be categorized as a Nollywood A-lister, but without a doubt, he has done very well for himself. He has featured in many movies and has been on the Nollywood scenes for a very long time. Kalu met Ijoma, his beautiful Igbo Biu, in 2016. Ijoma was a makeup artist as at that time. After a very short period of dating, some report has it that they dated for only three months, they decided that there was no need to look any further and they were both what they were looking for in a man and in a woman. So they decided to take the relationship to the next level and tie the knots. So on the 26th of June, 2016, Kalu and Ijoma got married in a very beautiful white wedding ceremony here in Nigeria. The two were said to have met at a movie location somewhere in Port Harcourt, where Ijoma was hired to make the actors and actresses up for that shoot. And it almost seemed like love at first sight for Kalu. When they met, Ijoma was a single mom to a baby girl, and after they got married, they both had a son together. So technically, they had two children. Kalu Ikago was a biological dad to the son and a stepfather to the daughter. After about six years of a very short-lived marriage, actor Kalu Ikago has approached a high court 
sitting in a Kedja legal state. And he has come with a petition to dissolve his marriage with Ijoma. And he went further to seek full custodianship of his three-year-old son and his 10-year-old stepdaughter. Divorces on the general are very messy. It's not something that you wish to witness. As a lawyer, as a barrister, that have witnessed several proceedings of divorce. Divorce is very messy because every party is trying to solve the other one and give the courts reason to believe that they are the good persons. So in the process, you see a lot of private personal things that happened in that marriage that even a third ear is not supposed to hear and the case of Ijoma and Kalu is not any different. In this divorce proceeding, there has been very strong allegations from both sides and although not much has been heard about Ijoma's side of the story, let me tell you what Kalu is accusing his wife Ijoma of doing. First, Kalu is alleging that Ijoma packed out of their matrimonial home with their two children and headed back to her father's house in Enugu without his knowledge and of course without his consent. According to him, he had traveled for a job and when he got back, he met their absence and met that all their properties were away from the house. So he sent her a mail. Now, these are his words. He sent her a mail asking her where she was with the children and she responded also via email telling him that she has left to her father's house. Now, without a doubt, you would agree with me that email correspondences are not the usual communication avenues for husband and wife. So it is obvious that this marriage has long been in crisis. Secondly, and very seriously, Kalu alleged that his wife Ijoma accused him of making sexual advances at his 10-year-old stepdaughter, an allegation that he has since debunked, saying that the love he has for her daughter is 100% fatherly love. Thirdly, actor Kalu Ikagu has alleged that his wife said that she had a miscarriage, and that miscarriage was as a result of an infection, a sexually transmitted infection to be precise, which he said he didn't give to her. And he said he didn't know what caused the miscarriage. He also went ahead to clarify and to admit that he never asked her the cause or the reason for the miscarriage. Now that's very weird. For a couple to go through a miscarriage and the husband didn't know the reason and didn't ask why, it shows again how sour things have gotten between these two lovebirds or who used to be lovebirds. It's crazy. It's crazy, guys, how love can fast turn into scorn and disdain. Fourthly, actor Kalu Ikagu has alleged very seriously that his wife, after the birth of their son, had constantly denied him sex after she had their son. On the fifth allegation, he alleged that in his sleep, his wife poured him water while he slept. She beat him with water while he slept. He also accused her of wanting to relocate with his children without his consent. Lastly, he admitted to having stopped sending money for upkeep and maintenance to his wife and children. And he justified his action by saying that the reason he did that is because his wife had denied him as a father to his stepdaughter and that the last time he sent money to her, she didn't acknowledge it. Now, that is a mouthful of allegation. So, on that note, he prayed the courts to dissolve the marriage and grant custody, full custody of his son and his stepdaughter to him. Let me read his exact words. He said, I am an actor by profession and I travel to locations within and outside Nigeria in which I can spend five days to one month. At the moment... It may be difficult, but I am thinking about the future when I remarry and get a stable wife. So this is his prayer to the courts in terms of the custodianship wish. So before I address all of this personally, let me just give you a little inkling as to what the judge said about actor Kalu Ikago's wishes and prayers. First, the judge, Justice Christopher Balogu, asked the children, his children, to go to him right there in court 
and play with him and spend some time with him in court. He also asks that his wife present the school fees receipts of the children in court. Secondly, the justice emphasized to actor Kalu Ikwagu that by virtue of the Child Rights Act, the law that governs child rights in Nigeria, he cannot deny his children the best education simply because he is in a fracas or because he's quarreling with their mother which i totally agree to so that excuse of she wasn't grateful she didn't acknowledge it i don't think it should come to play these are your children the essence of these monies or maintenances to provide for them not really to seek gratitude from their mother so on that note i totally agree with the judge thirdly and very very importantly is this very powerful proclamation that the judge gave in response to ikago's request to have full custodianship of his stepdaughter despite the allegation of sexual advances that his wife levied against him. On that note, the judge said this, and it's good I read it. The judge said, if I should, as a judgment, grant you divorce, and if your wife is in Enugu and you stay in Lagos, why should I give the custody of a 10-year-old girl to you while the mother is alive? The Supreme Court ruled that it is not the wealth of a father that the child of that age needs. They need the care and attention of their biological mother. The only reason the girl child should not be in the mother's custody is if the mother is mentally derailed. Assuming the girl starts her monthly period, you as a father do not know what to do. You will be scared of the blood. <laughs> this judge was really be old school. <laughs> a female child, he continued, is delicate. Your case is worse because an accusation has been leveled against you, he said. And on that note, the judge adjourned the case until the 23rd of June, that's this month, to continue the divorce hearing. There is a lot I have to say about this judge's proclamation, but I'll leave it up to you guys. What do you think about what this judge has said? I think this judge is a man of wisdom. What do you think? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Do you think the judge was unfair? After all, this man has been catering to the child, perhaps paying the school fees and the upkeep of the child, and he has fallen in love with the child as a father. Do you think that he has as much right as the mother of the child to seek for custody of his stepdaughter? Let me know what you think in the comment section or do you think the judge was right to hold that this child this 10 year old girl is best off with her mother now the big question what really are the legally acceptable grounds for divorce is denial of sex sexual starvation in a marriage enough to dissolve that marriage you know in the past i have heard some really obnoxious reasons why people believe or think that that is enough ground for the courts to dissolve a marriage i hear things like oh he he disrespected my family or she doesn't like my mother and all sorts of reasons but the big question is does the law consider these reasons sufficient and cogent enough to end a marriage we will find out soon enough because in a subsequent video i'm going to be enumerating and going into details all the reasons that our law has stated are the grounds for divorce anything outside these reasons you are on your own i'm going to do a very detailed video on all of that because knowledge is power and trust me that video will shock you so at this point i would like you to share your thoughts in the comment section what do you think about the high rate of divorce right now what do you think about actor kalu ikagu asking for custody of his stepchild when the mother is still alive and what do you think about the judge denying him custodianship let me get all of your thoughts in the comment section and don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up subscribe if you're not turn on your bell notifications and share if you found this content intriguing and thank you so much guys for watching it's me your girl barista neza and this is nezaville i'll see you guys in my next one for now bye